the outback, now an inland ocean. It's just sent down a wave of water, um, you know, probably two to three foot high on top of the existing water levels. Graziers are starting to comb their properties from the sky, searching for any signs of life. Some estimate they've lost 10,000 head of cattle. Look, there's a couple of paddocks there where there's absolutely nothing left, you know, so we're, we're hoping that they do show up somewhere else. But it could be weeks until water recedes and the full extent of the disaster is realised. I'm expecting the further you go north, the, the worse the story is going to be. River systems at Burktown have peaked. It's just quite devastating um, to see that this is occurring and that, you know, people have to start from scratch almost, well, completely. Further south at Gregory, more devastation. Houses and vehicles swamped. Residents of the nearby remote Indigenous community of Badungu were evacuated last week. They couldn't believe that so much water went through the community. We've never seen this before since the 1970s. Just across the NT border, southwest of Mount Isa, the Georgina catchment has swamped Lake Nash. Back in Queensland, water, food and supplies are being flown into flood-affected towns, which are likely to be cut off by road for weeks to come. Burktown residents who've evacuated to Mount Isa won't be able to return home for two weeks. For now, they're left to access support at help centres like this whilst they anxiously wait to see what's happened to their homes and how much they've lost. But among the loss, signs of hope. This little fella plucked from flood waters. Hey. No surprise, they've named him Lucky. Julia Andre, ABC News, Mount Isa.